Why are you wearing that? Because this is the way! Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back for another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. And now taking a look at the packaging here, right up front here we've got the nice Star Wars The Black Series logo right there, a nice window showcasing the figure. It says Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett Throne Room. And then right here it's got a nice image of Boba Fett here on the back, very nice image again. And it's got a little readout right here. Once regarded as one of the most fearsome and capable bounty hunters in the galaxy, Boba Fett seemingly met his demise in the Sarlacc Pit. A survivor to the core, Fett lived to fight another day. Anyway, that's basically it for his packaging. Bruh. And then Boba Fett comes with all of these accessories. First off, he comes with his helmet. We'll take a closer look at this in just a second. And then he does have his jetpack here, which does have some nice little bits of paint and everything, giving it some nice highlights and giving it some depth as well. And it looks like he might have some ports right there for some blast effects. These are adjustable, by the way. And also, this missile is removable. Sadly, there's no blast effect here that makes it look like it's launching. That would have been nice. But very, not a bad accessory. And then he comes with his blaster pistol. I don't know the exact name of this pistol, but looks pretty standard. Looks a little bit bare bones, but mm, yeah, it, it at least gets the job done. And then here is Boba Fett's iconic EE3 blaster rifle. So if the backpack hooks on right there, and the helmet goes on his head, where does the pistol go? That's right, in his face. Skip it up and up. Very nice material here on the holster. I can't tell if it's plastic or if it's leather. Like, it just feels that legit. And now here's taking a look at the Book of Boba Fett. Boba Fett all armed up with his helmet on. And overall, I love the helmet here. Yeah, he doesn't have all the battle damage, but I actually like the clean look. Doesn't look too bad. I like all the little scuffs and everything on there. I don't think it's a bad look for Boba. I still think it looks just as in, 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 in intimidating as it was before. Very lovely helmet mold here. And underneath the helmet, he does have a pretty convincing face sculpt here for it to be Tamora Morrison. They do have these little patches right here just to show that he does have some dry skin and he's still recovering from the Sarlacc pit. The only problem is this helmet doesn't really want to stay on all that much. And that's kind of the problem. Boba Fett is supposed to wear his helmet a lot, in my opinion. I don't like that it keeps falling off. So it's just a it's just a minor issue, but it does get a little annoying. Son of a What a perfect opportunity to talk about my other issue with this figure. Yeah, this thing does not have the strongest connection while going onto his back. I could just glue it in there, but I don't want to risk breaking it either, because once I glue it in there, I'm worried that it's going to end up tearing at some of the plastic pegs on here. Maybe not, who knows, but overall, it, it doesn't really like to stay on there, but it fits on there pretty securely. It's just, it's just there's times where it just wants to fall off, and it gets really annoying. Overall, the rest of the details here look great. I love all the little decals, the dents, the bumps, the little bits of paint that give some highlight to him. He's got the Mythosaur skull there on his shoulder pad. And then I like all the wrinkles and everything. I like the golden belt buckle and all of this nice tubes and hoses and the mechanical detail on his gauntlets there. And he doesn't come with any alternate hands. That would have been nice. And... Geez, Boba Fett, I knew you had like a dad bod or something, but you don't have to go in full sweatpants too. And if you move the knees a little bit, you can get a look at his little shin, uh, his little shin pieces, knee pads right there. And then there's his boots, very nice looking boots, You've got peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And overall, that is pretty standard for Boba Fett. Now, some other issues I have with the figure is this black scarf here does limit some of the head pose ability and it does make for some problems. Like for, a, like for example, he does have a little bit of the pudgy dab bod, so, you try, so I try to use the ab crunch just to make it flatten him out more. That definitely looks better. But now his head's kind of hunching over and then when I try to position his head up so you can look straight ahead, he looks like he's kind of hunching. So now I've got to like rearrange the head in a Pacific orientation, then when you look at him from the dead front, some of his chin pokes through, like, 
it just keeps frustrating me because I try to get him in a cool pose and something is just wrong. Going over Boba Fett's articulation, he does have a ball joint at the... <sighs> he has a ball joint at the head, which allows for some head swiveling, some head pivoting, and just moves all over the place. Can't really look up or down too much, because again, because of that scarf, but it can move. Shoulders can rotate a full 360. There is a bit of a butterfly joint in there, but it's basically useless. Shoulders move outward that far. He does get a elbow swivel and also a wrist guard swivel. Bend at the elbow, which bends just about 90 degrees, maybe a little over. Wrist rotates and hinges in and out. This wrist hinges up and down. He does have a diaphragm joint, which allows for arching back crunch. Not really diaphragm pivot. There are some poses that are kind of hard to get him in with this, but he does allow for some waist swiveling, so that's good. Hips can rotate forward. They can rotate back a little bit. They can move outward. He does get a thick thigh swivel. He does also have a thick knee swivel. Weird looking bend at the knee. I understand the criticism of this, but it doesn't bug me too much. But it does, I can't deny it does look a little weird on some poses. He does also... <sighs> He does also get a boot swivel, ankles can move up, down, and he does get some pretty decent ankle pivot. So, very good articulation here on the Boba Fett, it's just limited in some areas where it seems a little bit, you know, important. More like Boba Fat. <laughs> I totally didn't steal that joke. And now for some Black Series comparisons, here is Boba Fett compared next to Mando. Here's Boba Fett compared next to some other Mandalorians that I've also taken a look at. And then here he is compared to another fan favorite character who also died and then just magically came back, Darth Maul. And also the previous Black Series figure that I took a look at. Be sure to check out that review if you missed out on it. And that's basically it for the comparisons. Kenobi! And that is basically it for my review on the Star Wars The Black Series Book of Boba Fett to Boba Fett figure. And... Yeah, I think I got a little too overhyped for this figure, to be completely honest. Um, I do still like it, it's just, I, I kind of set the bar a little too high. I mean, this guy has a lot of problems that I really feel like ha Hasbro could have easily remedied. Like, the bat the jetpack keeps falling off, the helmet doesn't want to stay on, the gun kind of sits a little bit weird in his hand, but I mean, that's not the biggest complaint, but... And some of the articulation is a little wonky because of his design. I would have much rather them have gone with soft goods for his tunic legs instead of having these like weird hard plastic ones. Like it's it's just it's a lot it's it's really weird with Mando. They complement each other very well. It would also be nice to pose Boba Fett with a black chrysanthemum. And would you look at that? And that is basically it for my review on the Star Wars The Black Series Book of Boba Fett Boba Fett. Yeah, the figure is a little bit frustrating and it did piss me off a little bit, but I still like it. It's still Boba Fett. I'm still going to keep the figure. I still, I don't regret the purchase. It's just, I need a Boba Fett that is able to stay together and not have any kind of issues like the jetpack falling off or the helmet or whatever. So... I guarantee you I'm definitely going to get another Boba Fett in the future. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So keep an eye out for that review. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked this review, be sure to give me a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars The Black Series and action figure videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.